<laughs> that's a perfect shot right there. Look at all those. Look at all those boxes they checked. Look at that. <laughs> look at all that. those. Look at all those boxes. Huh. Okay, it, just show me the time code for a sec. Just we're at a, a minute, minute and thirty-five seconds in, and yeah. pretty much every line of dialogue, even the fucking intro, has to do with that fucking kiss. Really? <laughs> what a fucking horrible person! <laughs> Bodies are dropping. For God's sake. And no one cared about your missing mom because it's your problem, bitch. Hail to the fellowship. We thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your nearly normal reviewer, the Elvin Barber. And joining me, as always, is the Lord Loyalist himself, TC, the Token Cripple. Hello. And we are those guys. TC, we did it. <laughs> Lord knows why, but yes, we did. We did it. We sat through episodes three and four of Velma. We made it. Somehow. We made it. I think it was it was the support of one another <laughs> <laughs> that that got us through it because holy shit. This show is not okay. It is not okay. And Mindy Kaling is fucking traumatized. (laughs) She she is one traumatized, hurt individual who is coping by using this show as an outlet for her deep and deprived sexual behaviors and ideologies it's it this show is fucked this show is fucked she's unironically a very sick puppy yes yes she is episode three i feel like the entire episode of number three just centered around daphne and velma and their lesbian relationship that's it was yep. that's pretty much it. It was the, they're them making out. Three quarters of the dialogue mentioned their kiss at one point or another. Yes. And it seemed like no matter what, everything always went back to sex. Or everything was like, you know, was sexualized. Like nothing like no matter where the conversation went, it always led back there. Always. Yeah. Mindy Kaling is a thirsty, horny little bitch. That's what she is. <laughs> and and anybody who unironically enjoys this show needs to be on, put on a watch list. Yeah, they yeah, they do. They do. Uh the Batman joke they made in episode three. Yeah, fuck them. No. Oh, sorry, sorry. That was uh, it hasn't been thirty seconds yet. <laughs> It's it's it it will it will have been by the time <laughs> by the time we start talking about it. Yeah, none of the jokes are just landing. The the way they treat mental health, exactly. The way they they treated <laughs> mental health during the episode. Uh, Fred talking about no one no one watches me pee like mommy does. Like what? Mind you, I have. I have a uh, four-year-old and a six-year-old niece, both of which go to the bathroom on their own and I'm perfectly fine with it. Yeah, you got this soy boy who's about 15, 16, and they're portraying him as a little bitch as well. I... Oh my God. Meanwhile, white man bad, white man incompetent, white man, white man um, achieves goals by privilege. Yep. Essentially is I is, never actually finished my degree. They just never checked. They just Fuck never you. checked. Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah. This episode was this you know what this episode was fucked. And there was the, the whole thing was just about their uh, lesbian relationship. But episode four, sir, 
that that thing that was even like it just took it to a whole nother level of gross and perversion. Everyone was talking about how hot these girls are. They're fifteen. They're in universe. 15. They're 15. fifteen. Even if they were, even if they were legal, technically, it would still be creepy as shit for Correct. supposed adults to be watching this trash. Correct. Yeah. All the, and it's it's so so weird because like all the adults in the show are like, oh yeah, let's talk about how hot they are. But, let's look they're just. Out. They're just as thirsty as Mindy Kaling is. Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah, this shit, this shit is not okay. <laughs> this shit is so disconcerting and concerning. Oh my god, ranking fifteen-year-old girls on levels of hotness. Like this show was like, like it was giving me pedal vibes for sure. I, I'm not kidding. Anyone who unironically enjoys this show needs to be put on a watch list. Oh, I don't. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I like the fact that you know bodies are dropping, people are dying. Yeah, the only thing Velma's worried about is her mother who fucking left her. Who made yeah. the, Who made a smart decision to leave her fucking ass? And as far as we can tell, she did so willingly. Yes. Yes. And she literally, in the middle of an assembly where another body dropped, she said, why aren't they talking about my mother? Fuck you. The world doesn't revolve around you. Your mother left years ago. You were maybe 10 when she left. You fucking narcissist. You fucking narcissist. And she left because of you. So... <laughs> uh, yeah, I... Oh my god. The the amount of boxes, the amount of boxes this show is checking is fucking unreal. Unfucking real, man. And the thing is, like, I genuinely think that Mindy Kaling had a rela- her last relationship ended very, very, very badly. And she is very bitter. Yeah. And, Mindy... and that's like that's what this entire show tells me. Yeah, Mindy Kaling. Uh, separated and or divorced by a white man, single mom in her forties, very uh, sexually deprived. Probably doesn't get hit on at all. I wonder why. Fucking insufferable, like her self insert. Um, very traumatized. Definitely going through trying to work shit out psychologically, and she's doing that. By perverting and and distorting a beloved IP known as Scooby Doo, and Shania Twain. Oh, and, yeah, and Shania Twain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's and it's and, you know it's funny. I know we were we were talking about this during when we were when we were watching the show. I was saying how there was an article written and bounding on how the creator said that they have love for both the animation and previous Scooby-Doo, you know, products or, you know, things that were out. And I'm like, that's fucking bullshit. I told you, if, if they think that's love, they, they, the only love they know is an abusive relationship. Correct. Correct. That, that's not love. That's active disdain and hatred for the source yes. material. Fuck yes. you if you think otherwise. Yeah. I could not agree more. What else happened? You know, oh, right. And and the and the <laughs> and that's the thing. That's the thing. Like they focus so much on the fact that uh, that Daphne and Velma made out for thirty for ten seconds. We literally don't know what else happened because that's it's, all they fucking talked about. That's all. That's all they talked about. I can't tell you like a single other thing that took place other than Daphne and Velma. Touching each other, fond of each other, making out with each other, arguing about making out with each other, a black shaggy sipping over Velma. Oh, like, and then, then there was the women's only self defense class, to which Velma said, Why aren't we having men take a class on not attacking women? Right. Fuck you. The class that's, that's ne- the, the class that's needed because it's certain that a man, especially a big burly man, will attack a woman. Yeah, like, it's not a question if it will happen. It's when, when. it happens. <laughs> it's yeah. It's when it would happen. And I just 
and then they give them the worst self-defense advice you could possibly give. Just go limp. I like, and I, I feel like that's the opposite of what you want to do. Now, now, if I remember right, you did some, you've done some MMA a, a little bit, right? I've done a little bit of boxing. I've done a little bit of boxing. Yeah, yeah. You know what? And a little bit of yeah. I have actually. Now that I think about it. And was there advice ever just go limp and take it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not not unless you're in certain circles in Hollywood, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, not, not unless you're Ezra Miller, but um, Tish. Um, Just that's funny, W. <laughs> that, it's funny because he's with Warner Brothers as well. <laughs> In any in any event, in any event, um, oh Christ, yeah, th- that that whole scene was fucked. Oh, even the stuff where they were talking about how men are the reason that women uh, self shame this as far as their bodies, uh, like ninety uh, percent of men, ninety percent of straight men, if a girl if a girl comes up to them and doesn't break the mirror when they look into it. And says, "Hey, you want to make out?" They'll be like, "Sure." Yeah, like it's the, not. Go ahead. They men are not picky. No, no, we are not. The, you see, the only ones that are picky are like the three percent that they show on TV. And this comes from a, this has come from two different guys from two different walks of life, and we've never we've never demonstrated such behavior like ever. And if anything, it's women that pressure other women to look a certain way. Like the men don't do that. The men, maybe the men used to do that way back when. Maybe these in like days, the, maybe in the fifties. Yeah, maybe, but these maybe. days, men don't like a lot of men just don't really care. <laughs> they don't care. But a lot of women look a certain way, and other women see this, and then they feel a certain way about themselves. But, you know, of course, we can't look at, you know, that type of internal uh, internal type of knowledge. We got to blame men for this, you know, Mm -hmm. instead of coming to this justification yourself. So it shows it's just fucked. It's like way to way to just pass the blame. Yeah. Way to pass the blame. This show is awful. Like I I have like morally like I have issues with the show. It's not okay. Like I will continue (laughs) to say that. This show is not okay. This show is very wrong. It should not be on TV or be on a streaming channel. It it should not be a thing. It's wrong. It's gross. It's perverse. It's disgusting. Narratively, it, it's it's all over the place. It's off the rails. It's it makes so no vacuous. sense. Yeah. What li- what little narrative there is that isn't like slimy it's just so vacuous i mean hell even the antagonist the antagonist is calling out them on her shit and it's making sense like <laughs> the bad yeah. guy isn't actually supposed to be unironically correct exactly like you're backing at the bad guy at this point you're like yeah that's how i'm f-. like that's not that should not be a thing where you end up supporting the bad guy in the show <laughs> yeah velma is so insufferable and unlikable that you you find yourself you know empathizing with the bad guy in this fucking show. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, and then there's also their their treatment of mental health. They like they don't acknowledge the counselor. They mouth off in the middle of an assembly on mental health. They don't take it seriously. And the and then the same character who was the one who mouthed off to the counselor. Was like mental health is important later in the episode. I'm like, well, you wouldn't know it based on how you acted. Correct. Is it important? Is it not important? Are you backtracking? What's going on? Is this how you really feel? Is it not? Are you just saying this just to save face now? I, Maybe they're just too stupid to realize what the first scene meant. That probably. You know what? That sounds more accurate. That sounds. That's definitely a bunch of morons who are part of this project. I'll tell you that. It's not, I, you know, I wouldn't even classify this as lazy writing. It's just fucking idi- idiocy. That's what it is. It's lazy, ri- lazy writing, idiocy, and sliminess. Like, it, yeah. It, it, 
I gen I, I feel unclean having watched this show. Oh no, I agree. I agree. I mean that one portion at the end of episode four and you know, she's like, oh, ladies, we got to get you to shake your asses sexually to get people's attention. It's like, what? Fifteen. Fifteen. This is this is this is this is OK in your mind. You need help. You need some serious fucking help. Yeah, it, this this whole show is it, it's, it's bad, man. I, I feel uncomfortable. I do. Jinkies, shut the fuck up. That's <laughs> that's what you want to say, man. I still can't get over the fact that all their catchphrases are literal drugs. Yes. Yes, they are. That how dare they? <laughs> they don't you know, care. as as bad as some of the, the more recent outings for Scooby Doo are, at least they don't crap on the source material. Precisely. Not Precisely. like this. Not like this, no. No. They're definitely there's no love. Like you said, there's there's pure hatred. That's what this show is 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 identifying as pure hatred. There's definitely no love for the source material here. None. I I can see there's a reason very clearly why I think only one or two people that I watch on YouTube are still following this show. It's because it broke them. And if it weren't for the fact that we were watching this together, it would have broken me by now. I would not Correct. have watched <laughs> I know. Every oh God, it's so hard to get through to get through an we, episode. We made it less than two minutes, and that's including the previously on section before we had to pause. I know, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we were only I thought there was one episode where we I thought we were at least halfway in and we were only like six minutes in. And I was like <laughs> Oh my gosh, this show fucking sucks. Like, this show is taking forever. You would think a, a 20 minute show would be so, like, it'd be, it'd be quick. And we, I know we stopped it a lot, but it's not even that. Like, it just seems like it's just taking forever. It's that's dragging. How, yeah. It's how torturous this fucking show is. Oh, I've never wanted dragging. a commercial break more in my life. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. There was there was like a moment where I had got a a text from uh, one of my supervisors, and I'm just like, "Thank God I had something to break this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> to break this shit up because this show is bad. This show is so bad. I honestly, who greenlit this? They need to be in jail. They do. They yeah. They need to be on a fucking watch list, like you said. That's when they need to be on one. And I really hope, I hope there isn't a season two. I like, pray to God. I hope there isn't a season two. If there is a God and he loves me <laughs> and he loves you and loves the sanity of everyone in this world, they will not green light, green light a season two. I, I, I pray to God. The thing is, like, no one likes this show. I haven't seen one unironic positive... Actually, no. World, like I said, I think I said in the previous video, World Class Bullshitters covered one one article by Collider that was pro Velma. But I don't think anyone else... Wow. Uh, Collider is like the the peak of show media, so... Oh, yeah. Yep. I I don't know who can like this with a clear conscience. I know. I, I I don't know either. I don't know who this is for. I really don't know who this is for. Well, you know, I do know who this is for, actually. I do know who the savory, the less than savory types. But I won't go there. I've already went there, but I won't go any further. Yeah, oh, we've we've we've, we've said we've said our piece on that. Yeah, yeah. So we stand by what we said. It's just it's just sad. It's just sad. It's, it's just not it's just not right. Are we? Uh, are we? I was just say, is there any more? Like, I feel like <laughs> I, I feel like 
there we as far I can't think of anything else. I I think my IQ has been dropping steadily as we watch the show. Yeah, I just wanted to be over with. Just be over with. Yeah, so do I. So any uh any last remarks, sir? I... Aside from your IQ lowering no. on the episode. <laughs> no, I uh, I think please, we'll be, if, if we'll there's be... if, if there's any if there's any if there's any justice in the world, cancel this show. The fact yes. that it even got greenlit is is a mark against justice. I agree. Cancel it's it. awful. Don't even finish the run. Like, don't even finish the season. Just cancel it. Just stop it. Cut it. Fucking Batgirl this shit. Scorch Earth it. Erase it. How did it survive ex- getting cut? From existence. Animation is not a short process. How did it survive getting cut when they were doing all those cuts at Warner? Yeah, I guess she sucked the right dick, didn't she? Uh, Whoops. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna... and, uh, and on that note. I know. So, yeah. We thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we do ask that you like the video. Subscribe. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment for sure. Hit that bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And you guys take care. Have a good one. Bye, everyone.